So let's find one and two thirds of an inch on our ruler or tape measure here. So here's the one inch from here to here, that's one inch. So what we're really interested in is where is two thirds of an inch right here? So we'd have our one and two thirds. That's what we need to find. If you divide two by three, you'll get 0.6666. It just keeps going. So we're going to call it 0.67. That's the decimal for two thirds. So one half right here and one half is 0.5. So this is greater than 0.5. It has to be somewhere here on this side right here. And then if we take half of a half, let's go this way. Half of a half is a fourth. Half of a fourth is an eighth and half of an eighth is a sixteenth. So just so we have that. So we want to go, we want to know what this is right here. So here's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. That right there is three fourths of an inch and three divided by four, that's 0 0.75. So we're narrowing it down. Now it's between, this is between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. So somewhere in here. So let's look at these eighths of an inch. Let's figure out what this is. So here's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths. That's five eighths of an inch right there, or one and five eighths of an inch. So five eighths and five eighths, that's equal to the decimal 0 0.625. So since this is greater, we know it's going to be somewhere in this space right here. So let's do sixteenths. One, two, three. This is 11 sixteenths of an inch. And that, as a decimal, let's write it up here since we're almost out of space. That as a decimal is 0 0.6875. So we're very close. We're a little bit under this number here. And you could do 30 seconds of an inch and 60 fourths of an inch, figure that out. But this is going to be really pretty close right here. Probably about right here is where we would have our two thirds of an inch. So we'd have our one inch here and then all the way over to this point right here. That's the two thirds of an inch. So that's how you find one and two thirds of an inch on a ruler or a tape measure. At least that's the way I do it. I hope that helped. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.